Darlene here from Darlene's Garden. Let's take a walk around my yard and see how things fared while I was gone over the weekend. Here we go. Well, I've got my new camera, or phone actually, and I'm making my first video with it. Got some blackberries? Oh no, these are raspberries. Mm -hmm. These go directly in the mouth. Okay. Blackberries won't be ripe yet. Our blackberries don't get ripe until end of July, first part of August. Sun's shining on my screen, so I can't really tell if I'm looking at what I want to look at. Oh, here's my beans. They've got some blooms on them now. But it looks like the, I don't know if that's a bloom or just what, on the grapes. Oh, that tomato has a bloom on it. Didn't get as big. Oh, there's stuff along the fence here. Doesn't get as big, and that's got bugs. Bug bites on it. Okay. My raspberries are getting ripe. I'll come through here in a little while and pick some. So far, it's just been handfuls to eat, but pretty soon I'll have enough to do something with. Shade is still over part of my garden. The sun will be here shortly, though. We've got a tomato there. And some little ones over there. The other tomato... The, well, the... Peppers have lots of blooms. I haven't seen peppers. The other tomato plants have blooms. I haven't, they haven't been really making tomatoes yet. <laughs> Hopefully it happens. But we'll come around here. The peppers looking nice. Pepper plants looking pretty. And here was a what is this, a bachelor button? It was looking better out there, so we'll go. <laughs> it's got its last legs there. Oh, there's a little tomato on that plant. Just itsy bitsy. And, uh, Brown cherries have, let's see, brown cherries have brown cherries on them. Well, the daisies are pretty much out in full, pretty close to full strength here now. They're so pretty. I'll zoom in just a little here. Interestingly enough, there's a daisy down in this bucket where I've got some petunias. I didn't plant that daisy. Must have seeded from the daisies there behind it. like I need to put some water in my bird bath. And this always looks like something sleeping in it. It's all pushed down. I'll have to come out here and do some trimming and cleaning out. Well, the plants I planted in front of the water feature look like they're doing fine. 
little buggy, but doing okay nevertheless. Let's zoom in on the waterfall. You can hear the neighbor mowing his lawn. My husband's gonna come out and mow ours pretty soon. Well, this area where I planted the climbing triple crop just turned into weeds, it looks like. I'll have to come out and weed it in the climbing clipper, climbing, that's hard to say. Climbing triple crop. crop. I, I think there might be one left in there, but they just, they didn't last. So I'm gonna walk over here where my other little garden patches are. Walking past my compost pile. And I have a big dandelion. It's not a dandelion, it's a dandelion lookalike back there I need to get rid of. The uh, cucumbers coming along. Not anywhere ready to have cucumbers on them yet. And these tomatoes, I suppose, should be, I, should, I need to figure out a way to, to, to support them. I've got some sticks I can put in there. And my corn is looking good. The one in the back fulfilled the knee high by the 4th of July. <laughs> Once in the front aren't as big. Let me make that down smaller so it's easier to see. But oh, and there's a bean plant in there that grew quite nicely. A couple of them. Okay, I planted some beans in with the corn. The carrots did not come up. Just. That was I planted in there three times. No such luck. Well, where I planted the sunshokes, nothing's come up yet. I don't know, I'd have to look back in my records to see when that was. It's been at least a week ago, maybe two. Things that I go along this fence, no matter how much I put, Composts and everything, they just seem to not do well. Something about this ground isn't good now. That one plant that was there seems to have died. Beans are still alive, but very small. Potatoes, I planted way more than came up, but that's okay. The petunias are looking good. potatoes. There's also a weed in here. Ah, that broke off. I'll have to cut it and get it out of there. All kinds of to watch where I step. A clover on the ground there. I didn't want to step on a bee. Blueberries. Oh, here's one. Uh. Those go in my mouth. Squash plant has pretty blooms on it. Potatoes along here. Beans. The little pumpkins don't look like they're doing much. Those potatoes over there look like maybe they're ready for me to dig. Yeah. 
big plant over there is doing pretty good. Not going around in front because I don't have shoes on. I don't like to walk on the gravel with bare feet. So I'm coming around on the back side here. Here my husband's lawnmower going to in the neighbor have kind of a comp competition always going. See if I can get up on up here with my bare feet. I'm not sure if I can or not. Oh yeah, I'm doing okay. Those are Sinius and I need to get in there and pull out the this is looking fairly decent. The lilies. The lilies are pretty, but they're on their last legs. <laughs> Lily! Lily girl, say hi to everybody. Meow. <laughs> oh, that's cool. This, this camera will switch for from front to back without me having to turn off the video. I like that. That wasn't a full garden tour, but it was pretty close. I didn't stop and say much about things as we were going through just a little. Mainly I wanted to put my hand at my new, my new camera. My other camera my other phone, I should say, because I'm videoing with my phone. The, the sound went wacky. Well, first of all, I wasn't able to keep the video going. It would stop when it got too hot, and it would also stop when it, deemed, it thought that, it, that I didn't have enough space. And then I was uh, trying to host a Zoom meeting the other day, and my sound didn't work. They could hear me, but I could hear nothing. I had all my sounds turned here up, full blast, and nothing. So we've been talking about getting me a new phone. So we just went ahead and did it. It's a Galaxy S20 Ultra. And it's supposed to, well, I know it has a lot of Oh, that lawnmower is loud. I'll talk loud. It has a lot of features that my old phone didn't have. One thing I like real well, when you go to switch all the apps and stuff from one phone to the other, you don't have to do it manually like I had to do on my old phone when I got it. This did it all for me, like everything. So that was really cool. Well, I came inside to record. That lawnmower was just way loud. <laughs> anyway, we had a wonderful 4th of July. We went over to Idaho Falls, Idaho. My One of my husband's sisters lives there, and we celebrated with them. My husband's birthday is also on July 4th, so it was a combined party for him and celebration for the country. And 
my husband's sister and her husband, and then all of their kids, they have three kids, their kids and their grandkids were there. And then they had invited in some of their closest friends. Come toward evening, the kids got to set off fireworks. Usually the city has a big, big fireworks celebration in down at the par by the park that's by the river and they have vendors and all that so they didn't do that this year because of the virus but it appeared well every time we've been up there on fourth of july a lot of people have their own fireworks so we were able to their house is situated where we were able to see a lot of those just people setting off real you know the big boomy ones and then the kids had like roman candles and several other things that were really fun for them to do. And so it was fun watching the kids have fun. See, the youngest one is, I think, five. She's going into kindergarten. The oldest one is, these are the grandkids. The, um, the oldest one is going to be a junior in high school. So they were all right at that age where it, it was fun for them. And then we went to church with them on Sunday and their church had a, an outdoor church, partly because it was 4th of July weekend. And, and we sat in family groups so that we could practice our social distancing. And, they go to a, a very large church called Water Springs. They're in Idaho Falls. The school, ha the church has a school there too. And my our niece um, is one of the teachers at the school. I think she teaches third grade. I, I forget exactly, but she's one of the teachers. And. The niece's daughter is was, is on is playing baseball right now, and the son is getting ready for football practice to start real soon. And he was he had to go out and do uh, weight training and stuff. So they're a pretty athletic family. It was just fun being there because it was good to get away from home. We haven't, we haven't gotten away a whole lot just because of the virus, but it was fun to go there and just, it's relaxing to get away from home, to tell you the truth. And then we came home yesterday, no, yes, we came home Tuesday, I think that was the day before, yeah, I lost track of time already. Today's Thursday, I believe, and we came home on Tuesday. And then I spent quite a bit of yesterday getting my new phono the way I wanted it and catching up on some web design work that I needed to do and catching up on my rest because even though it's really fun to go somewhere and do things it's tiring at the same time well part of part of the tiring is Riding, it's like an eight and a half hour drive. We stopped in Boise, well, Meridian actually, visited another niece and nephew that just had a baby. We, we wanted to see the baby. Very cute little baby, <laughs> so tiny. <laughs> and they have two other kids, one that's gonna be a sixth grader and one that's going to be, what did she say? third grade, I think, if I remember right. And then the baby is just about, maybe just under a month old. Well, maybe it's a month old. Very, very little. <laughs> it was not a preemie or anything. He's just little. <laughs> maybe he just seems that way to me because he's a very small human being. <laughs> anyway, that was kind of fun seeing them. 
and then at home. My garden seems to have fared okay while I was gone. We were gone, we left on Friday. We were gone Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, five days. But we have automatic um, sprinklers, which gets most of the, most everything watered. And the one area that doesn't get watered, the neighbor was gonna come over and water it if it needed watered. And I don't know if she did or not, but it looked like it did okay, so she, she either did or else it didn't need it. I don't think it was quite as warm here as it was over where we were, although there were they're quite a bit higher elevation than we are, so it doesn't tend to get as hot there. They have more winter than we do, I know that, because they're like over 4,000 feet and we're only like 1,700 feet elevation. Anyway, I think that's all I'll come to you with today. I, it's one of my longer videos, I can see that already. Not real long, but longer than some of them. Longer than some, shorter than others. So I will go ahead and sign off here. And I hope that you have, I hope you had a wonderful holiday. And those of you who are not in the United States, I hope you have a wonderful day too. I, even though we celebrated Independence Day, 4th of July. Those of you not from the United States, not in the United States, I just hope you had a wonderful day, regardless of whether it's a holiday or not. And so until I make my next video, I will be watching your videos for sure. May the good Lord richly bless you. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.